Good morning, GMS. I am Annika Schaefer. And Bo Sires. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of September 13, 2021. Students, if your Chromebook needs repaired or replaced, please have a parent fill out the form on the GMS website. Click on the Parent tab and click on Device Repair. GMS will have a walkathon on Friday, September 24th. If you don't know what a walkathon is, more information will be sent home with students soon. Yearbooks are on sale at yearbookforever.com. There is a link in the GMS homepage. The price is $35. The price does increase as the year progresses. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants must be standard length garments. Therefore, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length or, or longer with or without garments underneath. Thank you for your understanding. Now let's go to the interview of Top Trending and the GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember, stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show and to review of the week. I'm Josie Fiesel here with a special education assistant, Mrs. Barr. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, this is my eighth year at GMS. Uh, my mom has taught here for 30 years, so I just came in with her, and I've, just, I've got two kids and my three dogs. I love them a lot. That's about it. <laughs> I also have three dogs, too. Oh. <laughs> what do you like to do out of school? Uh, I really enjoy camping. I really like to do that and go on vacations and just spend time with my family. Um, what are your favorite pizza toppings? Oh, man. I think I really love mushrooms. I think if you can put mushrooms on a pizza, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Where is your favorite place to eat pizza? It's a really, really hard question. Um, I think Jack's. I really like Jack's Pizza down in Franklin. It's really good. Yeah. What is? What other careers interest you? Uh, I think my dream job would be to own like a doggy daycare. I think that would be the best job in the whole wide world. <laughs> I would yeah. love to spend my day with dogs. <laughs> Especially puppies. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite movie or TV show? Oh, my favorite movie is probably Mean Girls because I'm a millennial. And my favorite TV show is a show called Scandal. It's like a political drama. It's my favorite. Yeah, I like drama too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is, uh, thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Barr. Have a great week. Thanks. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lily. And I'm Marin. Let's get started with number three. As seen on the Huffington Post and in viral photos everywhere, a girl's face had an unpleasant meeting with a seagull at New Jersey Amusement Park. Kylie Holman was celebrating her friend's 14th birthday on the Slingshot ride. The teens pre-purchased a video of the ride and are glad they did. Soon after the ride launched toward the skies, a seagull smashed right into Kylie's face. Her family below didn't know what happened. They only saw feathers fly everywhere. This is a ride that Kylie will never forget, and thanks to the video and viral pictures, she didn't have to. Number two, as reported by dogonews.com, the world's longest bunny has gone missing. Darius the bunny has been recognized since 2010 as the Guinness World Record holder for being the longest bunny in the world. Darius is four feet three inches long, however the bunny vanished on April 10, 2021 from his backyard in Sultan, England. <laughs> Some people think he could have been stolen. What do you think happened to Darius the bunny? Number one, also on Doggo News, there is an adorable stray puppy in North Carolina that stole its way into a forever home's heart. The puppy, named Sisu, fell in love with a stuffed unicorn on a Dollar General shelf. Four different times, the stray dog burst through the Dollar General doors to steal the stuffed unicorn off the shelf and run out the door, leaving managers stunned. On the fifth attempt, the dog was caught and animal control was called. The officer who responded heard the story and bought Sisu the $10 unicorn before taking the dog to a shelter. After the shelter posted a picture of the story on Facebook, the story quickly went viral and Sisu was adopted and found in his forever home. This one bad dog whose criminal ways led him to the happiest of endings. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week. Hello, my name is David Burns and I'm here with GMS Sports. 
at Monday, September 13, 2021, girls golf at home, 4 p.m., Greenwood versus Perry Meridian. 7th and 8th grade volleyball at Indian Creek, 5 p.m. Girls and boys soccer at home at 5.30 p.m. On Tuesday, September 14, 2021, girls golf at home, 5 p.m. Boys tennis at home versus Southport at 5.15 p.m. Girls and boys soccer at Shelbyville Middle School at 5.30 p.m. versus Shelbyville. Girls Wednesday, September 15, 2021, girls golf at Franklin Community at 4.30 p.m. versus Franklin. Boys tennis at Indian Creek at 4.30 p.m. Girls soccer at home at 5.30 p.m. versus John Wooden. Set on Thursday, September 16, 2021, 7th and 8th grade football at Plainfield Community starting at 5.30 p.m. versus Plainfield. Bye.